What's going on, guys? Aaron from PhoneDog.com. Bandage from hitting my head. 4G goodness. HTC Thunderbolt. T-Mobile. My Touch 4G. 1 gigahertz processors on both. 5 megapixel camera. 8 megapixel camera. 3.8 inch display. 4.3 inch display. LTE. HSPA Plus. Which one's the best device? So you have pretty similar stuff on both of these devices since they're both HTC phones and they're both Android 2.2 enabled devices. You'll notice the Android market's obviously been updated and it does have this new color scheme, new carousel at the top, and then your typical stuff here. Now I'll go into the market on this one as well just for comparison even though they look exactly the same. You'll notice over here, like I said, a little bit larger display which helps. But they look exactly the same, except you'll see T-Mobile instead of Verizon, uh, since the carrier, obviously, the carrier differences are there. So let's go, for example, to, let's say, go over here and search. Actually, let's go to apps. Go to all applications. We'll go to top free, and we'll take a look just to give you a comparison. YouTube's installed, but we can go in here and see uh, allow automatic updating. You can click that to turn on your review, a description of it. We can click more. Get the full description, see uh, screenshots, share it, get reviews from users related. Because so it's all in this one easy to read, kind of scroll up, scroll down kind of thing. And let me go over here to Google Maps. If you want to update it, what you do is click update. It's going to bring up those things that it typically brings up, warning you, you know, this is a location-based services app. It's going to collect your, you know, your, or your uh, location, etc. And then your item will be downloaded. So just a cleaner interface. It's easier to use in portrait and in landscape mode, which makes it better. Now you have T-Mobile TV on this device, Wi-Fi calling, Wi-Fi hotspot. The Wi-Fi calling is pretty cool because if you're ever in an area where T-Mobile service isn't particularly great, you can jump on, connect to Wi-Fi, and make Wi-Fi calls. Now your plan minutes are affected there. If you have, let's say, 500 plan minutes, you're not getting free minutes when you're calling on Wi-Fi. They're still coming out of your allotment of any time minutes. Or if it's night and weekends, your night and weekend minutes. Same plan rules apply but you can connect to Wi-Fi if you're in an area where uh, where it doesn't work particularly well. So as of right now, Wi-Fi calling is off, as you can tell. Oh no. Sorry, I got distracted because two cars literally just collided outside of my window and <laughs> the shattering of glass kind of threw me off a little bit. Anyway, as I was saying, Wi-Fi calling on this device, and then there's T-Mobile TV as well. Like, let's take a look at that. You do get, if I remember right, you still get one month free on this uh, T-Mobile TV with the premium channels when you sign up. And after that, I think it's $9.99 per month. And uh, you know you still get some free channels. The premium channels are $9.99. Let's jump into live TV here. Let's see what we have. Uh, MSNBC, just for example. Let's jump in here. And it should get larger uh, as soon as it loads or buffers. But let's see here. There we go. Okay, perfect. So you have hardball. Hardball with Chris Matthews. So you can see, uh, not particularly loud, I'm not sure why, but I think I have, yeah, I have it turned up as far as it'll go. But we'll go back up here. So you can see, you can watch TV very similar to Sprint TV. And it's nice to have that feature on the device. You don't have at least out of the box. There's no out of the box application to help you with that on the uh, on the uh, HTC Thunderbolt, so pretty cool little feature, and uh, nice to nice little benefits like that. Between that and Wi-Fi calling, it's nice to see those. And then of course you have uh, video chat out of the box. Now this one does not have an application out of the box, but you can download Quick, and then you can download a program that I've seen called Tango. This is the one that's going around, or at least that I'm hearing about right now. Tango video calls. That one uh, is available as well. No Skype support for the HTC Thunderbolt just yet. Let's hope it comes in the near future. Let's take a look at the cameras. 8 megapixel camera on this one, 5 megapixel camera on the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G. And just to make it fair, we'll take pictures of each device. So I'll come in here and let's see. Let me move it around. Wait for the autofocus to kick in. And so you can see, I mean, picture quality is fantastic. Autofocus works quite well. And we'll go up here to the MyTouch logo as well. Bam. So you can see picture quality is quite impressive. Now let's go into this one and then you have the dual LED flash on this as well. So if you're taking pictures at night you uh, have the benefit of having dual LED flash. Now we can go in here 
and see the camera shortcut button, which makes it a, you know, in my opinion, it's a nice benefit. We'll zoom it in. Bam. So you can see picture quality is very good as well. Don't get me wrong, but there's a noticeable difference. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there's a noticeable difference between the picture quality on the Thunderbolt and the picture quality on the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G. Let's see. Bam. So, uh, you know, I'd have to award the camera competition by a hair to the uh, HTC Thunderbolt. That said, I wouldn't let that deter you from buying the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G because it's very good as well. Quadrant standard time, jump into that. Go over here, run full benchmark, run full benchmark. And you know, call quality, if you watched my uh, review of the Thunderbolt, I worked with the Thunderbolt in the uh, Orlando area during CTIA. Call quality was pretty decent, but uh, 4G LT data was definitely kind of spotty in Orlando, and not just at the trade show. You know, we typically see these trade show kind of rushes on the network where it bogs down because there are a ton of people trying to access the network. This wasn't just at the trade show. This was, you know, five or 10 miles outside of Orlando. We were still having the same issue where, you know, we couldn't, you know, service was intermittent. It was spotty, having issues with it and more. And I noticed that in Charlotte as well, it has trouble holding on to an LT connection. Now, I don't know if that's HTC. I don't know if that's Verizon. It sounds like more of a Verizon issue to me. But uh, we'll see. Perhaps it's because the network is new, but who knows? So uh, T-Mobile My Touch 4G works well in this area, and I've been pretty pleased with the data speeds. 1,837 on the uh, on the Thunderbolt. Let's take a look at this one. Get it in. 800 and wait a second. I don't know why I did that. Let's let's run with it. Quadrant standard force close. Let's do another one, and we'll see quadrant. Run full benchmark. I'm not sure why it forced closed, but we'll uh, figure this out. Okay, that's better. 1,661 as opposed to 1,837. HTC Thunderbolt takes the cake when it comes to uh, overall speed tests and quadrant standard. Let's load up the actual speed test app so we can take a look at some of the network speeds, make sure they're both loaded on Charlotte. This one is, let me wait for this one to pop up. And Thunderbolt was loaded on Charlotte. I don't know why it's taking so long. But while that's running, we'll do... Actually, no, I want to run them together. So we'll wait, and we'll get that powered up. Let's see. These things seem to take forever. It was on Charlotte yesterday, but I guess uh, it's going to have to relocate us again. Still on Wichita. Okay, loaded right up on Charlotte. Begin test on both of these devices, and let's take a look. Now, keep in mind, take this one with a grain of salt, because Verizon, according to speed tests, the download speeds are pretty accurate, but the upload speeds are completely off because uh, the speed test app can't really read LT numbers just yet. Download 13, just over 13 megabits per second. Upload isn't correct, but 24 megabits per second. So a very fast, I conservatively, conservatively put upload at about you know three to seven megabits per second. That said, it blows the MyTouch 4G out of the water with HSPA Plus. So you know, keep that in mind, 4G LTE. You know, and also something to keep in mind, not a lot of people on the network yet might be a few more people on HSPA+. Plus. So those are some things to keep in mind. That said, LTE, at least in the speed front, blows the MyTouch 4G out of the water. Now that brings the dogfight to an end. One of them has to win. And given the price point, given the features, given the screen size, given more, I have to award it to the HTC Thunderbolt. Not to say that the MyTouch isn't a great device. And if you're staying on T-Mobile, look at this. Look at the Galaxy S 4G. Look at the G2 as well, which I think is pretty cheap right now and a couple of other devices. Wait for the T-Mobile G2X as well because it's a hot, 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 hot device. On the other hand, you know, 249 for this one, same price, packs an awesome LTE radio, packs a megapixel camera, front-facing camera, Android 2.2 with Sense 2.0, and just all around, it's a pretty feature-packed device. Yes, it looks like an Evo, yes, it looks like an Inspire, but it's nice to see kind of this big slab on Verizon. You know, that said, you're trying to get the pros and cons to each device it may you know, be outdating itself already because it doesn't have a dual core processor. It is a little bit dated in terms of design. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, figure out which one you like and run with it. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage on both the Thunderbolt and the T-Mobile MindTouch 4G. And be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're giving away a ton of iPad 2s, a ton of uh, phones as well. Google Nexus S, T-Mobile MindTouch 4G, this phone, and they, uh, 
Motorola Atrix 4G as well. Actually, when I shut the camera off, I'm starting preparation because we have a giveaway drawing tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, give away every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Head over to phonedog.com or facebook.com slash phonedog for more information on how to enter. And be sure to follow me on Twitter as well, phonedog underscore Aaron, with any questions, thoughts, comments, the usual that you may have. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.